Hi, I'm Brian Stewart. I am blessed to be the founder and CEO of HDO Health. We are a medical device company bringing life-saving, innovative, cost-effective medical devices to the world. Hello, I'm Nadi Graham. I'm Vice President of Education and Training. I'm also one of the inventors and founder of HDO Health. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to share a little bit about how we founded the company. About five years ago, two of our co-founders actually came up with the idea, born out of their own frustration with the limitations of the current products on the market. Uh, so they actually, over dinner and drinks, when I came up with a, a new idea of how to innovate on a life-saving technology that's been around for literally centuries, the tourniquet, to come up with a better mousetrap, a better way to be more effective, simpler, faster, cheaper, et cetera. It was through that process that they introduced the idea uh, at the Ohio State University as part of an engineering capstone project, where it intersected with another one of our co-founders who is a PhD biomechanical engineering professor. I got involved about in two years ago in 2000. I got involved through about, let me do it again. You, you're doing exactly what you yeah. should do, by the way, just letting you know. I got involved in early 2021 as an alumni of the Ohio State University, connecting with the innovation ecosystem there, originally seeking to become a mentor to help other entrepreneurs, but quickly pivoted to, hey, we think you would be a great entrepreneur. We've got some great technologies that are a good match for your background. One thing led to another and was quickly matched with the journey to technology and met the rest of the founding team at HDO Health. From there, they say the rest is the story. However, I like to say the best part of our story is yet to be written. The big problem we're solving is helping prevent people from bleeding to death from traumatic junctional wounds. If you don't know, about 90% of combat fatalities are related to bleeding to death and about 40% of civilian fatalities. And of those, about 18% occur at the torso appendage junction, or the, the hip crease. So the problem we're innovating and solving with our product, the HDO Health Journeykit, is helping to prevent people from bleeding to death. Our ultimate goal is to help save lives. The HDO Health Journeykit is a class two 510K device, single use, disposable, non-sterile, and currently requires a prescription. In addition, the product is patent and trademark pending, as well as the product will be manufactured in the USA. You may be thinking, well, come on, guy, there's devices on the market that already help solve this problem. That may be true. However, we are convinced with our warfighter and user-centered design criteria and process that we follow to really learn about what drives those critical moments of high stress in combat or trauma where literally seconds matter to save a life. What can we do to innovate on the current products that are out there? We feel like we've done our homework and have the data to show that our device is just faster, it's easier to use. One of the big components of that is that it only requires gross motor movements. As you might imagine in high stress combat or trauma environments, when your adrenaline's pumping, it's really difficult to make fine motor movements. So credit to our co-founders of really thinking through as users of this device, what's most important to me in those moments of high stress? Number one, the product is only one piece. There's no assembly required. Two, again, it only requires gross motor movements. So we've done multiple rounds of user feedback with experienced users, novice users, folks in the military, first responders, EMS. We've even had users from the ski patrol, as well as novice users who know nothing about tactical medicine have their hands on our product. The general consensus to date has been particularly for those that know the market and know the competing products. This is better than what I have currently. When can I get this? How do I place an order? For us, that's very encouraging that we've done the right work up front to understand the needs of our customers, understand the needs of our market, and we've designed our product to meet the limitations of the currently available products. Makes sense? It does. Okay. Ultimately, what drove our founders together was not only a combination of a love of healthcare, medical devices, academics, and law enforcement, but ultimately the DNA that binds us is wanting to help save lives. And we feel like the journey kit can do that. With a total time of application from when the product is stowed to actually bleeding cessation of between 20 and 30 seconds, as compared to literally minutes for some of our competition. And we've even seen data from comp competitors that show a similar time of bleeding control. However, they're measuring from when the device is actually assembled in hand to blood flow stopping versus the device is in a pouch, you've come upon a victim, you've taken the device out, 
no assembly required, apply it and the bleeding stops. In addition, we believe our device is secure in transit. As you might imagine with traumatic wounds, the patient needs immediate transport in most cases to a higher level of or echelon of care. We believe our device will continue to apply solid direct pressure while the patient is transported to another site of care. The design of the Journey Kit was to be uh, simple, quick, and efficient uh, with all gross motor skills. So uh, as it wraps around the body, you know, gross motor skills, we clip in at the waist, grab, pull away from each other by grabbing the assembly and the tail, pulls tight. Once it's pulled snug around the, the pelvis area, a lot of slight pressure will send this, uh, the wedge into basically the junction, occluding the blood flow. If uh, the only way to release it is between the actual Cobra buckle here or the built in gross motor skill safety. Rotating that brings this back up. You cannot unscrew it at all. It will not allow you to unscrew it. But if you do need to have more pressure or a slight angle change or anything, it will let you screw it or lower the piece of the wedge uh, down. So everything was designed for purpose of efficiency, ease of use, and novice users can pick it up, look at it, and within reason be able to. So the journey kit was designed basically for simplicity and speed of use. Um, and for the novice user to be able to pick it up, look at it, and be able to apply it within reason and efficiency. Um, everything that's a part of this is gross motor skills. So getting around the human body, around the waist, pelvis area, clipping it in, grabbing the assembly and the tail, pulling in opposite direction. All of this is gross motor skills, okay? Uh, once we get into the position where it's nice and snug around the pelvis, the wedge will be in, in the position of the, pel uh, the junctional. And then from there with slight pressure, engaged to, to occlude the, uh, the blood flow to the artery. Super quick, super efficient. On top of it, once it's in position, snug down tight, applied to the artery, it will not let you unscrew it. It's stuck in place. If you need more pressure, it will allow you to increase the pressure by, incre by lowering it, but again, never allowing you to bring it back. The only way to release this is by the buckle itself or by the safety designed with gross motor skills in play where you rotate it and then it'll raise back up. The only two ways.